guys. It's a beautiful morning here in Tennessee. It's August 16th. This year's flying by. It's about 9 a.m. in the morning here. And uh, I'm sure I'm recording. Yep, I'm recording. So we're trying to use this new camera. And what I'm doing here today is we're going over to where the sawmill is because the trailer over here, I don't know if you can see it, but those logs are still on there from earlier this week that we got over at that farm. And my plan was to bring them back here to the house and dump them off and I'm gonna bring the sawmill home here in about two weeks and just saw them here. The glasses are fogging up. Humid this morning. But anyways guys, plans have changed. And the reason being, I, I use a, a bobcat skid steer here at the sawmill to move logs over to the mill. You know, I put it in a lot of videos before. A lot of my older videos, you've seen that thing being used. And well, yesterday I was trying to start it up. It's not moved in about a month. I tried to start it up yesterday. No go on that. And I've just really been having a hard time out of that machine. I'm probably going to sell it and get something else. But I couldn't get it running, and I spent all day working on it, and I'm really tired of just fooling with it, so I'm not even going to look at it today. But what we're going to do is, is take these logs over to where the sawmill is over on the farm and dump them off right in front of the mill. So I'll probably end up sawing until about 1 o'clock, and then we'll get this trailer emptied and head over to the other farm on the other side of town to pick up the rest of that walk. And one last note before we head over to the sawmill, I want to say thank you to those guys over on Patreon. I really appreciate you guys supporting. You guys helped me buy this camera. And all this equipment here that I use to make these videos comes from Patreon now. So if you guys are interested in supporting us here, I mean, you can give like a dollar a month over there. There's no minimum. Appreciate you guys a lot over on Patreon. And let's head over to the mill. Well, I got those logs rolled off and it is hot out here. I think the high for today is 91. It is really hot today. It's only 10 a.m. man, it's bad out here. But change of plans, uh, the other farm where the other walnuts are at, we gotta go get. My friend that owns that place just called me. He's gotta do some stuff this afternoon and rain's supposed to be setting in tonight. So we're gonna stop what we're doing here before we start any sawing. I run up there at his farm and pick up those walnuts and bring them back here. You never know with this line of work how things change. And people call you, you know, when you do a sawmill business like this, that's a common question I get, you know, how do things work on a daily basis? Well, every day is something new. You never know. It's like opening up a log. Every day's Christmas. You don't know what's going to happen. So. Hot day.
Well, unfortunately, guys, no saw milling today. That took a little bit longer than I thought. I didn't plan on getting that good uh, root ball out of there. It looked kind of like it was kind of loose, so we went ahead and pulled it out, and I brought it up here with me, so I'll have some good sawing out of that. It's about four feet long, and it's a crotch also, and there should be some nice gun stock blades in there. I've been thinking about sawing some gun stocks, and I've never done that before, and it looks like that's one of the prime uh, examples to use is a, a root ball of walnut tree. So it should turn out pretty good. But uh, the day's about over. Of course, it's only about two o'clock, but I gotta pick up my little boy from school at three, so my day's about over. I'm gonna leave the trailer over here at the sawmill and lock it up. And my buddy that owns the farm here will come over Monday with his tractor and help me unload these and line the other ones up in front of the mill. So probably no videos over the weekend. Depends on the weather and what's going on. We'll see what happens, but you never know here. But it's still a good day here at the mill. Got eight nice walnut logs and our first ever walnut root ball. I'm not sure if I'll use the chainsaw mill on that or get it down and put it on the miser. You guys with wood misers out there saw mills, not to be a wood miser. Now leave me a comment below if you got any experience sawing up these root balls. I'd like to hear your take on it. This will be my first time doing it and, and uh, I'm not sure what to do on it, to be honest with you. I'll do a little research. Anyways guys, we'll see you in a few days and thanks for watching.